Hey everybody, on our way to get COVID tested so that we can get back into the U.S. because apparently Omicron is, Omicron, Omicron, Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime is whooping the globes behind right now. So, and it's very windy, so forgive me if the sound is subpar. We are get our test and then we will talk to you guys in a bit. Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building, standing at 828 meters or 2,717 feet. For record purposes, measurements actually reach 2,723 feet when including the antenna in the spire. A product of American design and engineering, this edifice was built over the span of six years and with the aid of many migrant workers. You can see my previous video for context. Oh, he did do that in person. Yep. He's pregnant. Here, here, here. So that's how fast it goes from zero to one hundred and twenty five. Just give us a moment, please, wait for the Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, Two thousand. 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 We made it! <laughs> that was good. Hello. 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 Hey, we're all the way outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, suspect. 
Although a modern marvel, this structure is actually a mixed-use space. With part corporate, part residential, and part hospitality, one could boast staying the night in the tallest building in the world. For those with that kind of coin, available bookings begin at $537 per night. Oh, that's dope. That's what it looks like before it was this. The desert. Before it was, was terminal. Yeah, before it was all built up. The Burj Khalifa boasts 163 floors, although access that high is not permitted to the public. Well, unless you're an Emirates flight attendant or Tom Cruise. Dubai Mall is one of the largest malls in the world, being the second largest mall in the world after the Iran Mall. There are many debates online about which measurements qualify the title largest, so I'll be clear here. By total land area, Dubai Mall ranks second largest after Iran Mall. If calculating gross total leasable area, however, then it falls to like 29th largest mall in the world, tying the West Edmonton Mall in Alberta, Canada, and Fashion Island in Thailand. Aside from being four levels tall, it boasts an aquarium, ice rink, over 200 restaurants and 1,200 shops and luxury outlets for as far as I can see. It was a cool shopping experience, I must say, even if the Abaya wearing vendors yelled, hey sis, several times just to get me to come over and buy from them.
The Dubai Fountain is the largest choreographed water fountain system in the world at the center of downtown Dubai. Showtimes run every 30 minutes beginning at 1 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. before continuing again from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I'm going to say you're telling a story. He is so... <laughs> make up stuff. Good I'm not making up. Good morning, guys. You just make up My stuff, husband man. is so controlling. I'm controlling. Look, so he, she's trying to solve our he's so controlling over our media, right? So, for context, at home, no matter what we're doing, we could be in bed, we could be in the bonus room, we could be downstairs watching TV. No matter where it is, he has to have a physical hold on the remote control, <laughs> the TV remote control at all times. He could be asleep and he has to have physical uh, touch, has to have a physical control over the remote control. So we <laughs> we are <laughs> We are at breakfast this morning. How are you going to explore? You're going to explore, right? And look at the table. <laughs> I look at the table. The remote control from the, the bedroom. Is... <laughs> Y'all look. Why, why is he like this? <laughs> this is why we can't get people. We just judge each other. Everybody has issues. Shut up. Oh uh, my like, god. Told to Good up. morning, y'all. Oh my god. It's so wonky. That's wonky. Like I don't have my gimbal, so it's you're, you're getting spoiled. My gim gimbal spoiled. Gim spoiled. That's a good question. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. The one I'm wearing about them shorts. Your present? Yep. What is it? I don't have to see. I don't understand why that's mine. Are we not getting coffees?
a maze. And our bidet. And our shower. Laundry. Back out to the front. Cool. This luxury five-star hotel near Dubai Airport celebrates convenience, style, and the local cultural heritage. Set in a commercial area in the Garhound neighborhood, this sleek hotel is central to Dubai International Airport, La Mer Beach, and is 13 kilometers from the Dubai Mall. In terms of amenities, the food was amazing, the coffee was top tier, and the furnishings and decor were in keeping with the opulent image that we've come to expect in Dubai. Good morning, friends. This is the last morning yep. of our trip. On this side of the earth. <laughs> we will be home later this week, almost midnight Monday. Uh, Sunday, first thing Sunday morning, it's like five in the morning. Um, we're on our way to the airport now, waiting for our car service. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really amazing trip. We have so much to decompress about uh, and just kind of talk about, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So we'll, we're on the last part of the vlog. So you'll kind of see us, you know, going through our um, customary return to home. Uh, what do you think that sign means? Situations. Okay. Look, show the sign. What is? What do you think that means? Uh, stand here and wait for your bus. I don't know. If you guys know what it means, <laughs> let us know in the comments. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, bye. Did you say what kind of car we were driving? Yes. Yes, correct. Thank you. <laughs> As you saw from the video, we and another couple awaited early morning departure transportation. Now what you didn't see was that the other couple came clamoring for our ride once it pulled up. Fortunately, we'd booked our car service with Black Lane, so both we and the driver knew who to expect. Black Lane is a global chauffeur service that provides safety, luxury, privacy, and sustainability in every ride. You can use the Blacklane app to book, change, or pay for a service with ease. I also recommend when traveling abroad to familiarize yourself with apps regional to your destination so that you may be staying abreast of travel requirements, local health and safety policies, or general use in navigating the area as a tourist while not looking like one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh.